But if that's what it was doing, why call it an illness? The Lepidopterans made a nest out of the human body where they could eat and multiply. An illness is what it is. But then? Where do you want me to start? From the beginning. <sighs> I'm old, Mr. Manny. My memory is not one of my strong points. Well, for example, why do they call you Madame Svenska? A name is just a trace. It is our business card, our identifier. It presents us to the world. But does it tell our story or really describe who we are? I swear I know three or four idiots with the same exact name. <laughs> well, yes. But we are not made of that name. It is given to us. Other people choose it for us, whether it suits us or not. It doesn't tell us who we really are. That name will not give us any answers. It is only through growing old that we become the answer to the questions of our childhood. And living in Sweden the last 30 years has definitely inspired this affectionate moniker. And so, Madam Svenska, it is. And yet you come back to Italy. Why? Because I forgot. But I also forgot that I had promised to remember. Tell me. Please excuse me. Sometimes my memory needs to be jogged. There's always been a song that as well as the name you refer to so much, has labeled my whole life, has given it a name, and it's from a name. If you can believe how bizarre and sometimes unbelievable my confused memories are to describe, that all this began. Say goodbye, party falls from my eyes.
Feels like it's gonna rain again. Yes, hello. I'm Dr. Reed from the Santa Margarita Institute. I'm sorry, but Mr. Felton is no longer a patient. I know. This is why I'm here. Hello? Uh, anyone? The gate was open. Are you there? Hello? Is anyone there? Good evening. Miss I am... Reed, you already told me at the intercom, and as I already told you, Mr. Felton is no longer a patient at the Santa Monica Institute. I, know. I came here voluntarily, outside the Institute. So what do you want? I am personally re-examining your case. Causes, reagents. I strongly believe there are alternative ways and probably other experiments that are worth a try. I am fighting with the Institute to recognize there are other adequate remedies for your husband's pathology. Oh, no, please. I'm just assisting him. I'm his nurse. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know. Uh, it's okay. I suppose you want to talk to him. Thank you. I apologize for the darkness, but Mr. Felton's sight has been damaged and immensely compromised because of the disease. Anyway, I am Gloria. Oh, and please, refrain from smoking inside. Mr. Fountain hates the smell of smoke. Sorry.
Please, this way. Bad habit. Smoking? Yes, such a shame. You should quit. You have no idea how bad this is for you. Not only for your health, but it's also very expensive. Money and time wasted. I have so much to do every day, I couldn't waste time with such a bad habit. Do you assist Mr. Felton all day? Oh no, from midday to 8 p.m. Then I go back home. I live near here. If needed, he can contact me with a pager, but that's not often. His wife takes care of him when I'm off. What can you tell me about her? I met her just a couple of times. She's usually out or locked in her bedroom when I'm here. Let's say they don't seem to get along. I didn't know. But, you know, when she's home, she listens to the same music, the same song, over and over. 